Hey, good morning, guys. This is John Phillips with uh, John Phillips Plumbing Service. I uh, I'm heading over to a job that I I was on back in November, I believe. Uh, I had to have a big jetter company out, and uh, you know it was a big deal. I kind of just turned the job over to a, to another company because I can't handle stuff like that. Uh, it's too much. So anyways, I uh, got a, they had an issue with, uh, somebody broke a cast iron line. I'm mean, not cast iron, a clay, six inch clay line, uh, probably FPL, the electric company running new conduit. Um, anyways, they made the repair on the, on the clay and supposedly there was a lot of sand in it so they got all that out cleaned it back up put it back together and everything was good but i got a call last night from the homeowner and uh he said it's doing the same thing again so i'm gonna head over there and and uh dig up the clean out and look and see where it's actually stopped up i'm hoping it's not the same issue all over again because then that gets you know problematic where people are don't want to come back um you get into warranty issues i'm hoping that it's just the guy's house that's stopped up and it'll be his issue i don't have to get the management company involved and um so we'll see what's going on i i still have the jetter equipment on my truck and uh when systems aren't working properly, when the, when the water's not flowing properly and it's not vented properly, you know, because the vents are cut off by a, a flooded system, uh, you get a lot of buildup on the inside of these pipes. So it may be that we just need to jet his, his unit. And uh, so we'll see. I'm going to head over there and uh, try to get you some video and uh explain what's going on but you know this is all part of it sometimes you got to go back um it really isn't on me they're gonna have to pay me to go back there because i i told i turned it over immediately to the other company so anyways we'll see what we can get into today it's friday and i'm hoping i get back here early because it's hotter than fuck i can't see out of my glasses because it totally fogged over yeah look at these guys Welcome to Florida. Steamy and fucking miserable. You know when the weather guy says, uh, it's going to be hot and fucking miserable today. Again, um, that about sums it up, you know. I mean, my fucking glasses are on crooked. I'm fucking a little, going a little cuckoo, man. It's tough down here in the summer, man. All right, see you. All right, guys, so I'm over here. I'm gonna dig up this clean out. This is where it is. I'm gonna see what the deal is. He said he has his two granddaughters here and uh, they're teenagers and they could be part of the problem, but I'm hoping that the big issue that we had here is still resolved and that it's limited to this house. So let me... Let me just take this guy. That's actually, I think where the gutter is going out here. It's down, he found it down here a little farther. I think you, which, is this a bedroom? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is what, what gutter? I don't see a downspout. Well, right, right here. It runs over when it's real. Oh, okay. And so we didn't have the... Let me get my probe rod so I'm not digging around. Alright, so I finally found this clean out. It's not easy.
sir. Can you go in the house and start running some water? Like flushing toilet, turn the lavatories and tub and shower and shower on, okay. and then continue to flush toilets and we'll see if it's flowing out. Okay. It ain't looking baby turds in there. So I've got them running everything in the house. I want to make sure that uh, it's flowing out of the house. And then I'm going to run a hose out. I can hear that toilet flush, so that means it's empty. Here it comes. Lots of toilet paper. Oh, see it backed up right there. It's on the outside of the house. Hey bud, go ahead and turn that stuff off. It already stopped up. It's on the discharge side of that clean out. So when stuff like, when this happens, it's the, anything on the discharge of the clean out is the association's problem. So I think it's right there. Like this, this thing takes a, a quick bend right here, like a 45 and then a sweep heading this way. And, uh, so I'm going to try my closet auger real quick and see if I can't get this thing to go down. Alright, that's three feet in. And we didn't get it. That's six feet. So the stoppage is beyond that. Got to get the sewer machine off.
60 feet. All right, so I've done everything I can do here. I mean, this is starting to seep down. Uh, I'm obviously in sand, I would say. Uh, I'm 60 feet out. I'm well into the six inch clay line that we had jetted and cleaned out because of because it was packed full of sand uh, my my thought is that you know we didn't actually fix the problem when we were here we just thought that that sand was there and never got cleaned out when we repaired it the first time so there's still something going on here. Unfortunately, this association paid a lot of money uh, to get this repaired. And basically all we did was uh, remove the sand and, and never found out exactly where it was coming in. It, it appears. I could be totally wrong, uh, but that's, that's what I'm thinking now. And... Uh, See, he's flushing. He just flushed the toilet and watch this water level is going to come right back up. And I have to put this uh, this clean out cover on because I'm afraid that it'll rain and we'll get this pipe full to four inch full of uh, dirt and mulch and shit so anyways I'm done here this is it hey guys I want to show you one of my inventions this is a plunger that I made it actually a stoppage in a waste arm or whatever is is material that got pushed into a, a an area that's it clogged it so the idea with a plunger is to pull it back a little bit and then push it back through again well this plunger pulled it back you know almost two feet and then you push it in it's made with o-rings just standard pvc fittings a damn tank the bowl gasket and you can change this out into different different size things for a toilet or whatever and uh, that's it man it works like a charm honestly I could stick this thing on a piece of glass and pull this back when it's wet and it'll pull the glass right out of a fucking window the suction so strong but uh, this is one of my inventions and uh, you know I just can't afford to get a patent and uh, pay somebody to make a fucking mold it's just not worth it because they'll change this thing by 10 percent and they'll be making them in fucking china in no time and put me out of business so to get something like this made up it'd be about fifty thousand dollars to get a mold made up for injection molding and uh it's just not worth it fuck it i've got like 15 or 20 tools that i've designed this is one of them it works great for me i'm just going to start selling the shit uh you know if you want one leave a comment and uh i'll build one for you and send it to you and uh if you do you know patent it and and stop making them just give me a fucking 25 cents a unit that's all man be a good man be a good guy or girl and uh don't steal it anyways fucking plum a uh, plunger designed by a plumber for plumbers yeah look at that badass have a good day guys it's friday i'm done